So why can we, and why should we, trust in 5G? So let's just start with the first reason why you should trust 5G. And it's about electromagnetic radiation. World Health Organization has stated categorically after doing extorsive tests that there's negligible effect of 5G on humans. When I go on the stage, the first question I actually ask the audience is always, what is 5G? And I'm obviously looking for the response, which is it's faster. But I'd like to put a different spin on it and suggest that it has nothing at all to do with that. It's a platform for transformation because it can do many different things. The telecom companies for the last probably 30, 30 odd years have been focused on build a cell tower and sell SIMs. So if they can improve predictive maintenance by around 1%, the industry saves a couple of hundred billion dollars. 5G is fundamentally more secure than 4G. And while you can trust 5G, we're going to connect billions of things. Those billions of things are now fundamentally more secure by design than if they were based on a different type of technology. If you continue to build 4G, you'll double the carbon footprint. And if you use 5G, you'll keep it the same or you have an opportunity to reduce it just within five years. Efficiency translates to energy and savings and carbon, of course, and it passes on to savings for people. And if it's more efficient, it's good for an entire ecosystem. But the ecosystem ultimately is the planet. Could you imagine just by deploying 5G, you could save perhaps a you know, 100 megawatt power reactor in every country? That's not a bad reason for deploying 5G. If you can trust 5G to drive the economy. If we take as a percentage, so the contribution of 5G to that component of GDP, so the estimate is around 1.4 trillion to 2025, which is only five years away. Symposiums such as trust in technology that Huawei is running here today are terribly important because we're using different types of channels, we're talking to different people, we're talking to people who are technology savvy, it needs better discussion, but at the end everybody's informed and everybody collaborates.